Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for February 1st through the 15th. This is a timeless reading. Um, whenever you see this reading is when we're meant to receive it. And if this reading resonates, Please like and subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Leo. If this reading doesn't resonate, I post readings every week. So check back next week, and you will get another reading. We have soulmate, Leo. Wow, okay. At the bottom, we have release. What is it that you have to release before the soulmate comes into the picture, Leo? We have exposed and revealed. I feel like there's something that you need to release um, before the soulmate comes into the picture. There's something that some truth is going to come out. And I feel like it's something that you're, something that's sort of sought after, something that you may not expect. See, at the bottom of the deck, we have willing release. So there's definitely something in your life that needs to be released in order for the soulmate to come through, Leo. We have. Friendship and union. Yeah, this soulmate that's coming through, this may be someone that you're already friends with, someone that you already know, someone in your circle. Or this may be truths and details exposed and revealed about someone in your circle. Some kind of friendship, union is being exposed. It's being put on the front burner, you know. Um, people are taking notice. At the bottom, we have power and intention. So I feel like you're taking back your power in some way, Leo. There's some kind of situation where you're taking back your power. Something is unfolding for you. That's bringing a lot of light, a lot of clarity to the situation. Let's get more information from the tarot about this situation. Okay. Spirit, give me a message that Leo needs to know February 1st through the 15th. Spirit, a message for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, for their greater good. The Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're daydreaming a lot. There's something that you're really deep in thought about. The Queen of Wands. It may be this Queen of Wands that you're thinking so much about. Who is on your mind? There's a lot of thinking going on here. A lot of contemplating. A lot of ideas coming through with this Ace of Swords in the world. Yeah, something is coming to a completion. It may be this situation that's being exposed and revealed, Leo. Um, I feel like you're thinking a lot about this person, this Queen of Wands, or... Queen of Wands is a fire sign. This could be you. You could be taking on this energy. Someone is thinking about you, Leo. Someone is very deep in thought about you. And I feel like with this world card, they're going to make their move. They feel like whatever thoughts and ideas they have are like coming aligned. They're complete, 
complete thoughts. And I feel like it's going to turn into complete actions with this Ace of Swords energy. Someone is going to cut through the mysteries, cut through the the um, cut through the truth, and expose everything. I feel like this situation is really coming to light because Leo. I feel like you know. Sometime during this time, these ideas, these truths are coming out. And you're going to get the complete story. Someone's in judgment here with the judgment card coming out. Someone is in judgment. And I apologize, that's my furnace. So, yeah, I wasn't able to get it fixed yet. So, now I'm waiting for someone to come out and give me some estimates on a new furnace. So, keep me in your prayers. I'm going to need it. Okay, we have the, with the judgment, we have the four of swords. So, whatever judgment is coming through, you're kind of laying this judgment to rest. You, you aren't even focused on this situation. I feel like this situation is complete. You got all the information that you needed from it. And now, you know, you've kind of made your judgment about the situation. You're kind of moving past it. You're moving on. And you're kind of laying this information to rest. Maybe this is something that you had to release. That's the reason why you're laying it to rest. That's why it's coming to completion. Because it's something that you decided you needed to let go of. But I feel like there's people around you. You're being supported. You're being lifted up, Leo. And with the, the Three of Cups energy, I feel like there's support here. There's someone coming in to brighten your day, you know, to keep you focused, to keep you maintaining your balance. Because you're moving into... You're moving into a time when you are ready to prosper. You're ready to move forward in a very strong position, Leo. You aren't letting anything hold you back. I feel like you're focused and you know exactly what you want. You have the Six of Cups on the bottom. So there's something that you're kind of going back to. Is this a past person that you're going back to? Um, if this is a past person, I feel like you're kind of leaning on them for support. Um, or this could also be a past person coming in that you viewed as a soulmate. You viewed as some kind of union, some kind of friendship here. But I feel like that, that Six of Cups is very significant. Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands underneath that. So yeah, I feel like this person is coming in to give you some kind of communication to really talk things out with you. This could be this person that you, you've released that's trying to come back and communicate with you. They want to have the last say, I'm feeling, you know. Okay, let's get some clarity for Leo in this situation. Let's get some clarity. What messages do we have for Leo? The King of Swords. Yeah, the truth has come out. The truth has come out and I feel like it stings this person like a knife. I feel like they're not really able to control themselves. But you feel like you're free. You, free, you feel like you're free to pursue what you want to pursue now. I mean... I, I feel like you knew something about this person and you just wanted confirmation that it was true. So now you're kind of freeing yourself up. You're like rolling with the punches. You're, you're feeling more content, more at ease. This, this isn't really rocking your world at all, Leo. So I feel like this is something that you pretty much expected. You expected this person to do this. Yeah, you feel like it's not even worth the effort to even try with this person. 
I feel like you're working on other things. You're moving on to better opportunities. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. With the Nine of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're finding your happiness. You're not letting any of this getting get you down. I feel like whatever this situation was that was being exposed, you're kind of dealing with it. And you're moving on. You're moving on to this soulmate situation. You know, you're waiting on your, your soulmate to move in to... You're waiting on some kind of communication. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, the Six of Swords. You're moving on to a calmer situation. This person may have brung a lot of chaos to your life. They may have brung a lot of sadness in the past. Because I feel like with this Four of Cups, you're kind of dwelling on things, you know? You're kind of feeling kind of down, kind of, you know, below your normal. You're really deep in thought there, you know, and I feel like you're moving on from those feelings. You, you're, you're like taking the reins of that chariot and you're like moving with the swiftness, you know. Yeah, definitely. You're expanding. You're moving forward. You're gliding like this bird. You may be traveling as well, Leo. Yeah, you have the world again. So something is definitely complete. Something has come full circle. It's made its journey. You know, you've learned this lesson. Now you're moving on. You're moving on to bigger and better things. Beautiful energy, Leo. I don't get any bad energy from this situation. So I feel like whatever it is, yeah, look. The, the Three of Swords, the Three of Swords aren't even penetrating the heart. They're down here. So I feel like whatever this is, you're not feeling heartbroken. You're kind of feeling disappointment, but this isn't phasing you. This isn't moving you. You are moving into bigger and better things. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. You found out the information that you needed and you are looking for something better. That is what I get from that. Wow. Very interesting. Let's get a Moonology card for Leo. What's going on with the Moonology? Where is this soulmate energy coming in? First of all, let me get... A clarification. Where is this soulmate energy coming in? The King of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone's going to come in with a very kind nature, very supporting, very um, nurturing nature. The King of Cups, he's also very... He knows how to... Hold his emotions close to him. He doesn't really show his emotions very clearly. But I feel like with the King of Cups, I feel like this energy is going to bring in new emotions, new love interests. Yeah, the Empress. Wow, something beautiful is coming. Something beautiful is coming. Your soulmate is coming. Yeah, we have Justice. So this is karma for whatever this person did to hurt you. Now, this is someone new coming in with bigger and better opportunities to bring you karma. This person who neglected you, who kind of did things behind your back, who was exposed, they're going to get their karma in this situation because I feel like you're coming out on top. Your soulmate is coming through, I believe, with this, with this King of Cups Empress energy. So... Yeah, I feel like you are definitely on top, Leo. Now, let's get a Moonology card for Leo. Communication is the key. New Moon in Gemini. So, you know, this could be a water sign coming in. A Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, 
or a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like, yeah, we have Libra here as well. And uh, actually, we have all the signs, if you really want to ask. Um, but I feel like communication is going to be key. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Yes. And look at this. What do you need to release? So if you haven't released this, this energy already, Leo, I feel like that's exactly what Spirit is telling you. That there's something in your life that you need to release. Something is not for your greater good, you know. Something's going to bring you a lot of disappointment and heartache in the, in the end if you keep a hold of it. So, yeah, I feel like moving forward with that chariot energy and having that completion with the world energy is going to be very beneficial for you. Because there's definitely something here that needs to be released from, from your energy. And we have... Care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Okay, and I feel like whatever this energy is, I feel like you are offering this person some kind of helping hand because I feel like you're not holding a grudge. You're like moving on and not even thinking anything about it. You don't hold a grudge against this person who who did this to you. You just, you feel like they're exposed and now you're just like, I'm moving on. I'm done. It's over. We have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Definitely, Leo. And we have ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Yeah, and I feel like you're not letting your light dim at all. You're not letting anything dim your light, Leo. We have, okay. We have big picture thinking. Pilates energy, visionaries, inspired ideas. And we have Earth School, life lessons, soul growth, study, and higher learning. Yeah, I feel like this was definitely some kind of learning lesson that you're going through. At the bottom, we have golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. So... You know, whatever this is, I feel like you're overcoming it. You've got this handled. You're not letting anything stand in your way. You're not let, letting anyone steal your joy. And I, I'm kind of loving that about you. Um, I'm really loving that about you, Leo. Let's take an animal spirit. I'm feeling like taking an animal spirit for you. The sorcerer, number 48. You, know, you definitely have magic. I feel like you're bursting with magic, Leo. You have the coyote on the bottom. So I feel like there's a fierceness to you. I feel like you are fearless. You're going through this journey and you're not letting anything hold you back. You're like moving this chariot by your will alone. You know, you're following the path of the universe. You're not looking back at this situation. And I feel like because you're doing that, your soulmate is coming through. Your soulmate, you will find, will bring you a lot of joy and happiness. You have the, the Ten of Pentacles here. You have the Nine of Cups. You know, so I feel like some wish fulfillment, a lot of happiness is coming forward for you. You're getting your justice in this situation. A lot of things are becoming clear and you're able to move on with the wisdom and the lesson that you've learned. Okay, Leo, that is what I have for you. 
If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also, like I said, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if you know that in your chart. And if this doesn't resonate, check back with me next week. I'll have another reading uploaded for you. And until the next reading, Leo, many blessings to you. Love and light.